All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Monday. That means that we are playing Aliens. And I actually, uh, actually, uh, tweaked the deck a little bit. It's funny that I said it's like Fire King Island because I was playing like Evo Fire Kings from the Vibe and Wildlife stream. But, uh, yeah, we are playing them Aliens. I put it back to Perform Pal so it can actually be somewhat competitive because holy crap. I tried, I tried Pure Aliens. I tried... Cancer aliens are kind of demise and I, I just couldn't keep up my like, aliens. They're just not that great They are not that great. So uh, if I could throw in a little bit of perform pals to help out then I I don't mind I, I apologize if you guys hate it and you're tired of seeing the porn pal engine, but it helps you know when you guys are like hey play aliens and then we turn around we're playing aliens and now all of a sudden it's just like oh, but try to face sucking dynamis that can make infinity <laughs> So can I get like can I get a little bit of leeway just a little bit just a little bit Anyway, I got the title all by myself. I, I don't know. So with me talking about school and then naming after song titles, because the previous song was just a two of us. Now this is all by myself. So pretty much, I'm talking about school. And when it comes to school, oh wow, he didn't make infinity. Okay, uh, I guess that's fine. Yes, <laughs> kind of thought that he would like bust it out, but no. Instead, he just took it slow. So I, I kind of want to do something, but then I kind of don't, you know, because of course he, he could easily just set up his pendulum scales again and go into like infinity or something so what i'm thinking of uh so before resolving a card effect that targets another dynamis card you control you can negate and then destroy i'm thinking about going into like rabbit something like two normal monsters going into like uh castell and then spinning this away and then tacking over this after i probably draw a couple cards off of this i think i think i want to draw for this i think i want to go ahead and do the uh set up the pendulum scale and draw and hopefully be able to crack the pendulum scales. That, that's a that's a problem is that I need to get I would need to get another sorcerer, but I would like to I wouldn't mind seeing my next card. Actually, you know, I should probably do the rabbit first before I draw. But then even if I draw, I would draw, still just draw to the same cards. Like So yeah. So there was just the two of us. There's only supposed to be two students in this class. It's been a week. This man has not logged in, done anything on his website, so I guess he's not doing anything when it comes to this class. So, you know, rip, rip. <laughs> So I think I want to go ahead and make a Castell, spin this card away, which this one's like, hey, if you target another card, but I'm targeting you, so you can't, you know, pop yourself to block, you know. So I'm probably going to go ahead and lose my Castell, of course, and I'm thinking about just crashing. That way he doesn't attack, attack, and keep his monster. I'd rather just crash and then take his monster with me. So you can go, go, you know, go. That pendulum scale, you don't need it. Definitely don't need it. And I would love to draw into something, but I'm just not sure if I'm going to, you know, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off right now. I'm not really in a hurry. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go Castell crash into your Dino Mist monster, and while I still will take this 24, hopefully, hopefully he won't draw into my Pendulum Scale. But the sad thing is that generally when I do plays like this, they just draw into another Pendulum Scale. You know, like this would be the first time when it's just like, yeah, correct your Pendulum Scale, got rid of some of your monsters. All right, now if you don't draw into that one Pendulum Scale, then I'll be okay. And just like draw, set up the Pendulum Scale, Pendulum Summon, you're dead. Like, oh, okay. Like, rip. I don't even know why I played that fucking, uh, Guitar Turtle. Like, I don't even know why I played. I was thinking about playing the Sorcerer, but then I was like, nah, you know? You know? I will be sure to, uh, activate my cell device. Oh, I, duh, I could've set my, put my card up, drew a card, and then some of my alien monster returned pop. Like, we, we have some plays, because we're about to get set up, and I'm actually gonna go into my Synchro Monster, my alien Synchro Monster, and then return my Pendulum Skills, and then, you know. Can you only activate the effect of, uh, Guitar Turtle once return? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say once return, like, on the field, so. Even if I activate, draw a card, then return, you know, I'm still gonna be in some deep shit. No, go ahead and poke me for 24. So, yeah, he hasn't posted, he hasn't done shit, so it's literally just me in this class. Just me and the professor, so that, 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 that's fine, that's fine, yeah. Uh, I actually got done with uh, weeks one's homework, so that's awesome. I'm just gonna wait until you end your turn, and then during the end phase, I'll go ahead and activate my cell device, put some counters on you. I guess I'll go ahead and send my last normal monster. No, 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 because I can, I can, I can revive my, uh, my, uh, my alien telepath and then use the effect. The effect's starting to negate it and then pop, pop one of his spells of trap. So that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. So I'm going to throw some counters on you and then I'll go ahead and get my search during the next turn. Oh, actually, I could pop your monster too. Uh, if you could, I destroy a monster and fail it, you can't especially summon an alien monster from my deck. Uh, so technically, technically, I could, I could trish you. I could trish you. 
And that in itself is some fucking power. So I'll go ahead and use my recombination. I said, do I want to use my, do I want to trish you or do I want to hit you with the, with the, with my alien boss monster? That's the question. That's the question. So I can summon Ammonite, then Ammonite will summon me back Telepath. Telepath, pop one of your cards, like, then I can use Mysterious Triangle, pop your monster, get, and then summon another mo level four monster from my deck. First things first, summon Telepath. I think I want to crack your pendant scales, but then you might have your Donimus charge, but I really don't care about that. Like, I I could banish your fucking, your fucking pendulum scale, like, and then you would not have it at all. And I think, thing is, is that I'm kind of worried about, you know, popping one of your back rows and it just being like a Donimus, whatever the fuck it's called, you know? So I think I might want to hold off. And then, it, I can't remember if my alien, I think my alien monster, I want to say it's once per turn, I'll pop this one. I want to say it's once per turn, Rush. I'm thinking it's Rush, like, if it's a Rush, then rip. Or Strike, or whatever, and then rip. <laughs> oh, that one's the Rush. Okay, well, I guess I targeted the right card then, huh? Some of them is just unaffected by the car effects, but it's destroyed during the end phase. Alright. So I finished week one's work. It was it was some work. It was some fucking work. Is it was it another rush? Oh, well, there was two rushes. But you can always make one rush once per turn. Rip. <laughs> so let me see my alien monster. Once per turn, I can select any number, return, distribute. Once per turn, I can move two counters anywhere to destroy one card my opponent controls. Twenty six hundred attack. Okay. You know what? Let's do some alien plays. You're gonna die. I could pop you and then run your ass over, so. You know what? Let's actually do some alien plays. I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna hold on to Mysterious Drive. Oh, got my Solemn Warning. Nice. Alright, so. And we're gonna go ahead and Synchro Shotgun. So, see? We're doing alien plays. We may have some pendants, but we're doing the alien plays. So, once per turn, I can select any number of face up spells or traps, return those cards to their owner's hand. And I can give you your pendant scale, but I don't wanna do that. And then put counters on. So, go ahead and activate return. So, you. You return. I get those back, and then I mean, I guess I mean you're both gonna die. Like it doesn't matter. You're gonna die. So I guess I'll give you the counters because I'm gonna run your ass over anyway. It sucks that not all the like all the alien monsters should have the minus three hundred attack. Like all of them. How come some of them don't and some of them do? Like it's weird. It really is. I'm gonna go ahead and activate my effect. I'm gonna move some counters off of you to pop your pendulum scale. And we're fighting, we're fighting, we're using aliens, we are fighting, so we're gonna run your ass, I mean, yeah, we're gonna run your ass over, and then you're gonna go back to the extra deck. And then he's gonna be top decking, I know, you know, Donald must don't have that one card pendulum scale, so I think I might be okay. Like, I think I might actually win this duel, which is pretty good, it's pretty good, we're fighting Donald so come on. And I get this card, this combo back, so that's pretty good, it's pretty good. So week one's work was just, uh, it was just a pain. Oh, he scooped, he scooped. <laughs> That's funny, his name is Loser and he lost. Alright. Anyway, get another duel, bear. Alright, we're back. Get another duel. Uh, week one's work. Like, she toned, like I talked about it, she toned down a lot of the work. Like, the lesson plan sucked. Like, it took me forever to get that lesson plan down. Because it was like more than just a regular lesson plan. Like, it was like, do the lesson plan, but also explain why you did everything on the lesson plan. It was a pain in the dick, so... Yeah, not not a big fan of that, but I got that done. And then the other one, it was like I needed to do a bibli bibliograph. I think it was called bibliograph. And with the bibliograph, I had to photon satellite. So you're playing like Galaxy Photon with no extra deck. Like hello, hello. <laughs> All right, I guess. Well, this opening hand's not terrible. I mean, Rabbit once again opened up with Rabbit, and I think I just I thinking about just summoning Rabbit and then not using its effect because i kind of want to keep the aliens in my deck and then just setting one of my pendulum risings popping my pendulum rising like i think that's what i want to do because i can't do it with fucking sorcerer like sorcerer can't do it so i'm gonna pendulum rising get rid of my rabbit summon my sorcerer pop pop I keep drawing dog like i'm running i'm running dog oh wow okay okay i guess i'm not doing any damage to you this turn that's fine and i already normal summoned rabbit so there's really no point in you know well, I guess I could grab Sorcerer. I mean, Sorcerer's always great to grab, you know? I mean, Skull Curve Joker is always great to grab. Never mind, you have Solemn Strike. Never mind. Oh, I guess I'm not doing that play. That sucks. I mean, I have another Rising, so if I draw another level 4 monster, I can summon him back. Really, I just need to draw my Pendulum Scales. Just like, 
Uh, I hate I hate how simple Strike is. I really do. I hate how fucking simple it is. And I'm playing it, but just because I'm playing something doesn't mean I like it. Like, I think fucking performance pots are stupidly busted and they should be hit. You know, I'm not going to be like fucking DPY Joe. So it's like, no, don't hit Sorcerer and his Skull Crab a Choker back up to three. Like, no, 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 no. This is stupid. This should be hit. This is stupid. This should be hit. Like, no, 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 no. You won't be getting that fucking uh, liberal shit from me. I know it's busted. I will use it. But I know that it's busted, you know, so... Like, it's just too flexible. Like, if it was just stop, you know, an inherent summon, I would have been fine. But you stop it at any monster effect from anywhere. Him, deck, graveyard, anywhere. You just stop it. Like, all right. <laughs> your opponent cannot target attack with this monster to zero attack for attacks. Okay. Like, I don't know what you're doing. You're really trying to stall me out, but I'm not drawing anything. Like, I might just use dog. Oh, wait, I can't target you for an attack. That's right. If you're level four, like, I, I wish Dog was four. Like, if Dog was four, it would be so much fucking better. Like, I would summon a level four alien, special summon a level four alien, go into, like, you know, a rank four monster shack and go into fucking King Feral Limbs. King of the Feral Limbs. Fucking get a search. You know? Like, shit. I can't do shit right now. I need to draw until level four. I'm glad I kept those uh, normal monsters in there and didn't use Rabbit Effect. If I used Rabbit Effect, I would have got stricken anyway. So, either way, I would have got fucked. So I'm just summoning photon satellites, like, alright. So, I'm assuming that he's doing some kind of play where he increases his his monster's level and then hits me with something strong. Once per turn, you can target one other photon monster you build control, and then they're gonna, gonna keep on increasing their level, increasing their level. Like, this one, this one's effect is fine. I don't care about him. His effect, I'm probably gonna strike him. Oh, I did that in the rush order. Oops. Right. Well, it's not like you have an extra deck anyway. So you're probably just gonna keep on increasing and increasing. Wow, drew another fucking dog. Like, alright. You're another fucking dog. Like, fucking dog. Like, do I run any rank threes? Let, let me see. I should probably run, like, one rank three. Like, maybe, like, a Bricksword or something? Yeah, I run a Bricksword. That's cool. That's cool. So I could use Bricksword and pop him himself or pop one of my set cards. Like, I probably don't need Mysterious Triangle. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can special summon Dog. Dog will put the counters, and then I can Mysterious Triangle pop your, pop your monster that has the fucking counters. Like... Never mind, never mind, I'm good. I don't need to go into Brick Sword. Possibly. Possibly. I probably mean, I could. I could. I could, but like, never mind. Fucking dog. You get dog with dog? Like I am running multiple dogs, because dog is actually really good, but we'll put a counter on you, we'll put a counter on you. Then we'll go ahead and play. I kinda wanna break sword his set card so I don't have to worry about anything else. And even if he uses the set card, I don't care. Like, do I have to have a monster in the field? Like, no. No, I don't. So I think I'll just go into Brick Sword. Brick sword pop. I wish I could. I wish I had this card set so I could target it and then chain, but it, you know, I can't sell. I can set my sorcerer up as my pendulum scale and then pop that. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and activate that. I'm gonna activate my other sorcerer as my pendulum scale. Then I'm gonna use my brick sword. Brick sword pop. Your set card. I don't want you to have that set card. I don't want you interrupting my plays like at all. I mean, knowing my luck is probably like a Wabaku or something, so I'll get rid of that to get rid of that. Then I'm Mysterious Triangle, pop the monster with the Equip spell. It's a Dragon Shield, alright. Then I'm going to activate Mysterious Triangle, pop the monster with the Equip spell, and then Special Summon a level 4 alien monster from my deck. Which I guess Telepath? What a dick. Sure. I guess. I guess. <laughs> like, I'm the dick, huh? I'm the, I don't need Telepath right now. I think I'll hold off on that. They weren't doing anything to you? Well, you know I had to do my play. Oh, this card is just always on the field. Oh, I thought it was a quip spell. Right? I should have summoned Telepath. I would have summoned Telepath. I could have popped this. Uh, it's fine. So we'll go ahead and do Rising. Get rid of my Shock Trooper. Summon Sorcerer. Sorcerer, pop yourself. Pop the Brick Sword. Cause I, I can't attack anyway. I should have summoned Telepath. I, I misplay. I thought this was a quip spell. So I thought it was a quip to that monster. It wasn't. <laughs> so... I think I'll go ahead and get Guitar Turtle, and I will get Monkey Board. <sighs> yeah, that was my bad. That was definitely, definitely should have just summoned, um, summoned Telepath pop that card. That's what I should have done. And then, I guess I could Pendulum Summon. Like, how do you use Sorcerer Effect? I have all three of my Sorcerers in my fucking Pendulum Scale. Like, rip. Rip. Uh, go ahead and get Monkey Board Effect, get my Sorcerer Skull Correct Choker, of course. Uh, I do normal summon this turn, so uh, I'm thinking about just pendulum summoning one, just so he doesn't hit me directly. 
I mean, I could go into an Xe play, but I think I want to hold on to my Swing Cobra for right now. Yeah, just gonna put him in Swing Cobra. Should I put you in attack mode? I don't know why I put you in defense mode. You don't have an 800 booty. I mean, I seriously doubt that he's gonna do anything. There's one card, I mean, I'm kind of wondering what he's going to do. Like, it seems like he has some kind of play, like increase his monster, you know, and do all that, increase the level and fuck me up, but I definitely should have just went. All right, summons so that block, pop this, the zero lock attack, but I thought that was a quick spell that was equipped to this monster. It's a continuous spell. So, rip on that. So, yeah, the bibliography sucked. Like, she decreased it from 10 to 5. Thank Christ, I gave this hard with 5. I. She was like, oh, yeah, use resources for your teaching. So I was like, okay, well, the SAT test, the, the end of course test, which used to be the proficiency, but they changed it. Uh, the ACT, uh, AP test, my uh, my calculus book, like, I was just choosing resources for my fucking uh, teaching bibliograph and graphy. And it's like, okay, I guess, stupid assignment. Week two, I think it's a little bit easier. So. Once again, I got to do another lesson plan. This one's more strict. The first lesson plan, I could do whatever I wanted, right? This one, same lesson plan, same format, but at least I, you know, I'm a general idea. It'll probably be a lot of copy pasta, like most lesson plans, so that's a little bit easier. It has to be a group project to learn vocabulary. That's fine. I, I, you know, that's easy. You know, learn some math terms. I have a way. Just play a game of concentration. So I'll just set up a lesson plan where my students play a game of concentration. Done. And uh, then the other one, I had to do, like, set up a group project and, you know, instruct them and all these things. Like, I'm going to end up talking to the professor today, Monday, at 6 p.m. She's going to call me on the phone and we're going to talk. And then that's how it's done. Uh, the thing that about being all by myself that's good is that the discussion board is much easier. So usually I would, and especially if there's multiple students, I would post a discussion board, right? And there's two discussions. To, to, so I, I post one discussion, one discussion, two. And then I'd have to reply to two students on their discussion. It means that I have to post two discussions and reply to four. Reply four times, right? With only what being one student, it would be I post twice, they would post twice, and I would respond once to each of those. With only just me, and there's no one to reply to, and there's no one to reply to me, I just post. That's it. I just post, and I'm done. I don't have to reply, there's no one to reply to me, the teacher just gives me 100% if as long as I do it. So literally I just type like a fucking paragraph on two discussions per week. Easy, peasy, done. I don't know what we're waiting on, like this guy, like I'm not sure if he has a play, we're just waiting on him. Like for all I know he fucking quit, but I'm not gonna quit because, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be sure I, like, I have the strike too, like I have the strike too. And I think your plan was to increase your levels and then do something where it's like, oh, this monster has attack equal to the level or whatever. Cause I think I saw this before where Photon Satellite keeps upping their levels and upping their levels and upping their levels. And then some like some strong beater and beat my ass. Like, no, 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 no. I'll strike you. So, uh, waiting on him and he was kind of salty that it's, you know, it's just like, oh, you were locking me out of place. You, you strike, you stroke me. Like, that's it, you stroke me, man. Once, once we, once you saw him strike me, all gloves are off. Gloves are off, motherfucker. So, I guess he quits. I guess he quits because time is about to run out for him. So, rip. at least I got to pay attention to talking at least. So, I'll do discussion or that's easy. Then the other assignment that I'm getting kind of screwed over with is my uh, my interview. My interview is not going so high. His bar is filled. Like if we can, if you can go, just go ahead and give me the W. Uh, one year I'd be very appreciative. Like his bar is full. My bar is close to full or empty or however you look at it. I I, I don't know how you look at it. Like you you can act like the black is filling up or you can look at it as the white. I think I think it's supposed to be the white is going down and you're running out of time. I think that's it. But I don't know. For some reason I always look at it as, as the black is filling up and then once the black is full, like his bar, his black is full. Like it's, it's one of those cup half empty, half full kind of thing. I don't know. It looks like YJPro. I I don't know, I guess he quit, so I'll get another door. Bear. All right, and another door. So the interview, the interview is not going so hot. Like it really isn't. His hand is really shitty. Like really shitty. He made me go first. I really don't want to summon my sh my trooper. Like I really don't want to do anything. Like I need spells. And I, I drew my worst pendulum scale. I drew dog again. But at least dog can do my trooper. So if I just happen to draw it into my uh, alien, what's it called? The quick play spell. I forgot the name of it. I could go summon special summon, put some counters on you, then pop your monster and summon. You know. So oh, and of course it's blue eyes. Of course. Everybody, we gotta face blue eyes. You got to. And, this is, and I, of course I open up shittily against blue eyes. Like great. Ray, and I have no monsters for him to pop. Wait, Ultimate's an Inherent Summon, right? I believe Ultimate's an Inherent Summon, so when he reveals and summons, I'm just gonna strike him. That's good. Yeah, yeah that's an Inherent Summon. Because cool. I was worried, like, oh, he's, gonna, he, he's not gonna activate his monster effect, he's gonna poke me for 3,000, and then, you know, 
but no, I, I think I might, I might be okay. I did trade in, did that, he, the plays are coming down. I mean, oh my god, that's not what I needed to draw. Like, holy shit, I'm probably gonna lose this duel just because I'm not drawing in anything that I need. Like, fucking rip, man. Like, I need a spell, I need better pendulum scales, I need my fucking, yeah, like, really, I need a spell. Like, the, there's a lot of spells in this deck, there's a lot. So I need a spell, if I get a spell, I can spit some sorcerer, you know, summoner monk, like, but nope, nope. Oh, just drew my worst pendulum scale. I'm drawing multiple shock troopers. Means that I'll probably next turn. I'm probably gonna draw on a rescue rabbit. I'm assuming. I just draw a rescue rabbit. Because <laughs> rescue rabbit's dead now. Like the I drew my two shock troopers. I only have one more left in my deck. Rescue rabbit's dead. <sighs> of course, gospel. Like, <sighs> gospel's so broken. Like why'd they make this fucking card? Like not only is it fucking a revival card for the most powerful fucking type in all of Yu-Gi-Oh dragons, but then it also blocks them from fucking battle and. By car effect, but come on, come on, what the fuck were they thinking? They weren't, they weren't, they, they don't care. <laughs> Did I get a spell? Awesome, awesome. And this is the card I was talking about, too. So, good if I wanted to summon this and then special summon this, put a counter on you, blow you up, which, of course, you could just block that summon and, you know, do that play. But I think I just want to go ahead and go summon among Pitch It, because I finally drew a fucking spell so I can do my sorcerer place. So that's awesome. That is awesome. The deck came around full circle. I think it was Pendulum, then Regular, then Cancer, and then back to Pendulum. And the thing is that uh, the, poll, the deck's edition pulls that it actually goes up next week, so rip. we don't have too much time with uh, remaining with Aliens. Like, one more this, one more week after that, and then uh, and then it'll be, you know, time to either take it off or maybe it'll be possible to get another month, but I don't think so. I'm not sure. Uh, the suck thing is, is that I guess I could, I guess I could pendulum summon, I'm thinking about maybe pendulum summoning you two, like you and you, and then I'll probably never get rid of monkey board, because that's like what, I think that's my only remaining lower scale. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of monkey board, no, 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 no I'll probably keep you, pendulum summon you, oh, but your eyes can sell, that's, that's pretty good, maybe I'll play next turn if I have the balls to do it, so I'll go ahead and get Skull with a choker. I got normal summon for next turn. Now I can just pendulum summon you guys and then go into like a Castell or a Dark Rebellion. No, probably a Castell. Do I want like 101 or anything like that? It's totally lightning. Uh, probably Castell. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and go into Castell. So I'm gonna go you and. Go you and you. Because I can grab another. I can grab another Skull Red Joker, so we're good. Go into Castell and spin you away. Actually came back into the stool, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm gonna cast Stealth Spin you away, so. Still got to deal with fucking Gospel, of course, but. Gospel's a son of a bitch card, and I don't even know why they made that piece of shit, but they did, so. You could just go away. If you had a Fag Railway, you should have Fag Railway with me a long time ago, fool. Yeah. If you had a Fag Railway, you should have Fag Railway with me a long time ago. And you scoop! Woo! Beat Blue Eyes! Awesome. Awesome. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. 23 minutes is fine. I don't need to go out to half an hour plus. Uh, so, with the interview, I sent an email to one of my teachers from high school, and I was like, hey, can I interview you for this class? I just, you know, it's just do email. We don't even have to meet up or anything. They're like, oh, yeah, sure. Emailed her the, the, the first two questions. Haven't heard from her since. And the interviews were supposed to be going Sunday, but that was a soft do. And I was like, I emailed my professor. I was like, never get in contact so it might be easier i just interview my professor like she said i could so i interview her get the questions and get those assignments done i mean they're only the interviews are only really worth one point and there's like i think eight of them so eight points out of a hundred something so they ain't worth shit they're not worth shit but you know i still want to get the assignment done so i'll, I'll talk to her on the phone today and see how if we could just act like i could just interview her through her because i don't know what happened you know my my, my teacher was quick to email me and then she never emailed me back so rip you know, and of course, it's not like I can go down to school and see her school is still out. School doesn't begin until pretty much the end of this, this month when this class ends. So, uh, anyway, I'm done here. So, aliens with the performer pal, like I thought, I mean, we did some alien plays. You can't say that we didn't do some alien plays. And I think that's just the most optimal version of the deck. And it sucks that we got the performer pal. Should performer pal be hit? Yeah. It would suck that it hurt, it hurt and ends a little bit indirectly, but. The deck is just so weak. It's so weak, but I mean, with with the power of performing pals, I'm able to fight against blue eyes. I'm able to fight against freaking you know dynamis and shit. So I mean, overall, I mean, we we won. We won with aliens in this video. So pretty good, pretty good. I mean, I'm I'm, like, I'm chalking it up to his hand is pretty shitty because he won't surrender. I mean, he has his spot drawing six. His hand must be trash, but uh, still. Yeah. 
anyway, uh, fun fact, you guys are actually getting an additional daily duels this week. And you're like, what? Like, like the whole, you get two daily duels thing, I mean, it's kind of like, hey, you get two daily duels, deck profile, and then you do deck replacing it. You get two daily duels. But no, you're actually getting two daily duels. On Thursday, you're getting two different videos. Not only are you getting your tag with Destiny Heroes, but we're also uh, doing an additional daily duels to replace a daily duels that is missing from the archive. Yeah, like, this is episode... What episode is this? 937. 38. I don't know. It's Monday. It's 9.30. I want to say that Wednesday will be 40, so I want to say this is 38, 38, 39, 40. I want to say this is 9.38. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I mean, I know after editing and uploading, but I think I want to guess 9.38. We're actually missing an episode of Daily Duels, and I want to say it's episode 296. So I actually... Remade the deck that was played during that time. Remade the thumbnail. I'm gonna re upload that on Thursday. It was a Thursday video. Re upload that on Thursday and then put it back in this playlist. That way, when we get to 1000, we will have all 1000 episodes because it's fun deck. We're actually missing one. So you get two daily duels. We're gonna be tagging with Destiny Heroes and then we're gonna be playing with that deck and then replacing the archives. You get two daily duels on Thursday. So look forward to that. So Hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Of course, I will be back tomorrow playing normal pendulums, tagging. So thanks for watching and for support. Uh, like I said, we got some channel changes coming up in a couple of months. And hopefully Dueling Book is real so we can, you know, uh, start. Like, we didn't even get to really start Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft like Season 2. Like, I have some videos recorded, but, you know, we haven't even got to start it. Which is, I guess, it's, not, it's okay. Because it's not like we just stopped in the middle. Like, we didn't get started. Hopefully when Dueling Book goes up, I can, you know, spend like maybe like a month, you know, networking and working with uh, you get to, big YouTubers to get the announcement out there and then, you know, jump right into it. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And, uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.